Hi, this is Aprajita from Avaya Serviceability Engineering team. In this video, we will go through the installation of ICR admin component of Intelligent Customer Routing 6.x. Where we know ICR 6.x is a managed application for Avaya Aura Experience Portal 6.x. Before beginning with the installation process, let's first understand what are the prerequisites for installing ICR 6.x. Apart from other hardware and software specifications which are applicable for Experience Portal 6.x, there are certain additional prerequisites which have to be there on the server before we start the installation of ICR software. Software prerequisites include Experience Portal 6.0 SP1, Avaya Aura Session Manager 5.2 or 6.x, Avaya Aura Communication Manager 5.2.1 or later, Avaya Aura Orchestration Designer 6.0, Application Server, Speed Server properly configured. And under hardware prerequisites, you should have 4 GB RAM or more, you should have SIP gateways or session border controller. For more details, please refer to implementation guide for ICR 6.x. In this slide, we'll talk about what all ICR components are required to be installed for completing the ICR installation. The first and foremost is ICR admin, which is responsible for configuration, alarming, logging, auditing, etc. and has to be installed only on primary EPM server. ICR call control application, which is ICR CCA and ICR core. These two can be installed on an auxiliary EPM server or a standalone Linux system. ICR PDC is a pluggable data connector which should be installed on orchestration designer and is used in self-service applications. We will begin our demonstration by logging into primary EPM server on its console access with root privileges. So log in here with root user and its password first. Once logged in, Go to the directory where you have mounted the ISO image of ICR. In our case, I have mounted that at slash mnt slash ISO. And when I list here, it shows me all the contents of that ISO image. We have to use install underscore ICR dot bin here using command dot slash install underscore ICR dot bin. This will help us installing ICR admin on this primary EPM server. As soon as we hit enter, the installation starts. As this is an interactive script, we will have to provide inputs at various points here. The first step is it asks for a confirmation whether you want to continue with the installation or not. Hit enter for yes. Then it shows us the information about the license agreement. Keep hitting enter till the time you don't get a prompt saying, do you accept the terms of this license agreement? Enter yes to go ahead with the installation and no to quit it right away. By default, this is the install folder slash opt slash avaya slash icr. If you want to continue with this, hit enter or provide another absolute path. In the next step, it asks for what all features do you want to install. As we want to install only icr admin and this is the primary EPM server, Let's choose one here. It checks ICR admin. Hit enter to move ahead with the installation. This is version confirmation step. Here it shows that no other version of ICR admin is installed and this is the new version that you can install. Enter Y for yes. Now there is a prerequisite check status. It shows the EPM version that is already available on the server. Enter to continue. Now it asks for a confirmation if we can stop the EPM service running on this server. Hit enter to continue. It takes some time to stop the EPM service running on the server. So please wait till it doesn't return another prompt. Now it shows the pre-installation summary. It shows the information about what product has been installed, what is the install folder, what are the features that have been installed, and then it also shows the disk space information. 
enter to continue with the rest of the installation of ICR admin component on this server. Here we see a bar progressing showing the installation status of ICR admin component here on primary EPM server. It will take some time for the installation to complete. Wait till the time it doesn't show another message confirming the installation. In this next step it asks for a confirmation for starting the EPM service on the system and it also points us to the location of ICR installation logs. You can refer to these logs to see if there has been any error during the installation or it has been successfully completed on the server. Press enter to continue. This is also going to take some time because it is starting all the components of EPM service on the server. Now it shows a confirmation that installation has been completed and it says that it has been successfully installed on the server. It also points us to the installation directory of ICR admin component. Hit enter to exit the installer now. With this we conclude our demonstration. Thank you for your time today. For any questions, comments and feedback, please write to mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at avaya mentor. For more details and related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.